subscribe to channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. And never miss another update. To do so, open your settings, then select General. On the next screen, tap Reset. Finally, tap Erase All Content and Settings. Press the Pass card. Again press the Pass card. Click Erase iPhone. When you see Apps and Data at the top of your screen, select Restore from iCloud Backup or Restore from iTunes Backup, depending on where you saved your data. If you're restoring your device from iCloud, you may need to log in to your Apple ID account. If you have more than one backup of your device saved to iCloud, you'll be given the option to choose which one you'd like to restore on your device. Select the backup you'd like to use. Remember that only data and messages that were on your device at the time of that backup can be restored. All that's left is to wait for the backup to finish loading to your device. Restoring your iPhone from a data backup can take a while, so try to be patient while the data transfer finishes. Before we go, we just want to leave you Number one, backup your device regularly. If you don't have a saved backup of your device with the mess situation, set your device to backup automatically. You can do this by going to settings, then iCloud, then backup. Subscribe to channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. And never miss another update.